mm. do that because yeah. they understand Appreciate. they understand that there's a difference you know the man goes out to work he puts the food on the table you know he protects the, the woman's got a role as well yeah um, you going to say something? Oh, I just was going to say that the worst thing about it is that you go out to work and you're battling all these demons in the world. The last thing you want to do is like like a video game. You come home, you're going to face the last boss, which is your woman at home. You know, you've been you know back in garden trying to get yeah. by in the day. You come home, you just want some peace, and your woman's there looking to you know go twelve rounds with you. It's just ridiculous. It's funny. I saw I saw a, a, a Jake woman say that. She said, you know, and you know, she had the right spirit for that. To be honest, she was saying <coughs> exactly that. You know, you, you know, your man's out there. You know, especially if he's a, if he's a Jake. She wasn't an Israelite. I don't think she knew that, but she understood the fact that, you know, we, how it is for us. Man. It's mm -hmm. different for us. We've got to deal with the day-to-day -day things. So we don't want to come home and deal with, you know, um, a dragon. Yeah. A dragon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, I got a precept, yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and um, uh, 50. Deuteronomy 28 and 54 says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall, shall leave, so that. He will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he have nothing left. Mm -hmm. Him in a siege and him in a straits, sour straits, we know that word, innit? Mm. Sour straits, within thine enemies shall distress thee all thy gates. This is it. The tender and delicate woman among you which would not adventure to sit the soles of her feet upon her ground for for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her husband, of her of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughters. Yeah, man, what's that saying? That that's what you're gonna that's get. Say, that's telling you right there that you know there was a time when our women, our women were were like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? They were tender, delicate. They knew their they knew their, they knew their place. They were nurturing. They yeah. Looked after their man. We that we that again. Please. The tender, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 56 says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her soul of her feet upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Now, how, many, how many of you have seen that, the nigga woman, the way she deals with her kids? Yeah, yeah. How many of you have seen that, you know, crazy? Putting their, putting their foot up their kids' ass, man. Instead of, you know, the scriptures say, what, well, train up a child the way the you way should, should go, go man. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to deal with them like that. It's not saying that you should let them get away. We know, obviously, we've got to chastise them as well. But they're not chastising them, man. They're taking out their frustrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing. Didn't you, it's like a while back, didn't you send me a video of mm -hmm. when a woman's like, this is what I think about my baby, and she threw the baby and it landed on the bed. It could have been me because I'm always getting those. <coughs> but she threw the baby and like it just landed on the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. She and she flung it. Man. Yeah. And that's the thing. These niggas women ain't got no shame either, man. Because they're doing all sorts of madness. You don't catch these other nations doing that. Man. Yeah. I got another precept. Deuteronomy 28. Yes. Yeah, 50, 54. So it says so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward her brother and toward her wife and his bosom and, and her bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall we we we, we off to ark the men the men have to take take yeah. some responsibility too because I'm, I'm wasn't even trying yeah to on the, you know just the spirit just rolls but because i don't want to get on the the we like that right now. Bro. Brought up into the household that I was brought, <laughs> you know, saying, brought, I brought up in it's just according to the spirit, spirit. we are being punished yeah man we, and that is no, you speak and the reason why we're being punished is because we went off. We went off. I mean, so if you're going to be so naive to get involved in a relationship with a, a nigga woman, which is which is not a good move at the moment, because we have to, that's what he says. That's, that's why right, he say, he's right. saying that it's not yeah. a good move, man. Right. You know, he says, um, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Yeah, I know that what happened in my, my own household. I'm sure you know, you know what you saw in your own household. 
and to all the wife of his bosom and to all the remnant of his children which he shall live um, shall leave yeah. go on <laughs> do you want to say something like that because because what that same dog you know the, 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 um, the Israelite man what, what does he do man? he sleeps around he, you know there's nothing wrong with a man having multiple wives but that's not how they're yeah. working because they're dealing with they're committing adultery that's right they're, 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 they're sleeping with other men's wives Taking pleasure, in it. taking pleasure in it as well, and then they're having children that they don't even want to, they don't even want to take it. And when you look at the, the premises, that's mm. the, that is why a lot of us are key to this truth. Yeah. Because we read them curses, man, and we knew they identified with us. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that's a, and the scripture says that they, 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 the curses will be on us for a sign and a wonder, and a wonder man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to add to what you're saying. That's how you can see that right now prophecy is being fulfilled, like Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter with us uh, coming back together and waking up and having the spirit. Like for example, we're congregating here and brothers all around the world are having their camps wherever they're at. But this is the start of Israel coming back and you can see that because it starts with us. You know, because mm. the two thirds are gonna stay the two thirds until they get destroyed. But this is the start of Israel being brought back up and although it looks like humble, like it's just a few of us congregating here, it's a very spiritual thing and it gives me hope because, like for example, if we was to leave this truth and go back into the world, what hope is there? There's just, what are you there's, going back to? Exactly, it's just darkness, nothing works. It's like, everything's broken, nothing works. Why would you want to be in a world like that? Yeah, it you doesn't might, make sense. You might as well kill yourself, man. Yeah, you could yeah, be off in a spiritual realm. <coughs> Got yeah, I got a precept because you was, you mentioned about that guy on, on the because I I, saw, I I was I was always quite observant uh, among my people like my friends and and seeing how men you know towards women and and, and, and that yeah uh, Ecclesiastes twenty six what's, what's the one I want man no we want twenty five it's lucky twenty five. Yeah, and 19 it says, All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the let the uh, the portion of a sinner fall unto her. So if, if we're gonna receive an end, you know, which we which most young men when you first go into a relationship, you realise <laughs> you know, you, when you get burned, you say, Oh, yeah, this is what it's all about, you know, which is the most I saying, This is how you do, you you done let this to me. So now you're gonna to have to get a taste of it for you to understand how you how I felt when yeah. you did it to me because yeah. we're his, his woman, That's a very good you know. Uh, yeah. That as well. So right, we get angry with the nigger woman, which I used to, you know. I, I think over time, I can see frustrate. I, I can see the frustration, but that's what we're supposed to feel. Because we, we see the nigger woman how the most I sees us. The whole shy sees us the same way. That's right. And we look at her and we say, fuck it. But then again, at the same time, because I, I, I reflected over time a little bit and meditated about this. Um, we're looking at the mirror. We're looking in the mirror, man. Mm -hmm. When you see a wicked nigger woman, from the spiritual perspective, you're looking in the mirror. That's how the most I sees you. Yeah. You understand? When we get right, when we get right, she, she, they're going to start, which I'm starting to see that now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to see like women coming up to the camp, the, the elders, because we know how the elders, you know, how they feel. Coming up to them, because it's, it's a sign, it's all a sign. Saying, oh yeah, I feel better when I feel safe when I'm around you. Oh, you, you and, got that too. Isn't yeah, it? Mm -hmm. and it's to calm you down. To calm you down, because if you're getting right now. So the woman's going to start to get right. That's the root, I'm talking about the root of the matter. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lucky. Might just give a brief testimony on demons as well because actually on the way to camp today I was coming here. Now before I left the house I put my hand in my pocket and I had some change and I thought I've got 60, 60 P here. Actually it's 80 I've got my tongue. But I thought it was 60 yeah. And I thought well I'm not going to spend that. Shall I just leave it? I thought no just, just put it in your pocket just in case yeah. So I'm walking down the road making my way to the train station and there was a nigger woman sitting at a bus stop and she was like she had the body shape of like a bear, you know, just like fat and all out of shape. And she's sitting there and she's smoking. Mm. And she goes, you got 60p. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought to my, I, I didn't even bother to acknowledge. I just God. looked and I thought, that's got to be a demon to talking because how did it know I had that money in my pocket? Right. You know, and it's exactly how much I thought oh, I had that she asked for. 
So I just thought, the, the demons are out of here, man. Yeah. So just this brief testimony on the living. Oh, wait, didn't the demons know who Yahweh Shai was? Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's why they said, have they, have they come to torment us before our time? Right. The demons identify with your spirit. They know who you are. That's why when Yahweh Shai was speaking to them demons, he wasn't speaking to the, the actual person. He was speaking, speaking to the to demons the in them. That's yeah. right. That's what he was speaking to. And that's why he said Peter. That's why he called Peter Satan. Satan. Yeah. He didn't call him Satan yeah, for yeah, Satan. Yeah. Yeah. He said yeah. Him. Yep. That's, yeah. That's a very good. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Very good. It's lucky, man. Just say you've got to put your mind in that time as well. Because if I'm not mistaken, exorcisms weren't really done until your came on the scene. If I'm, if I'm not going off. Because I believe it's when your house came and he started casting demons out of people. Now, Imagine how crazy it was to, to be in that time. Imagine you were walking along with your friend Bob and you see your house like, come around the corner and all of a sudden the demon in Bob starts like getting riled up and stuff. That must have been like something to see, you know what I mean? Like you think the film Exorcist was bad, but that must have been on a whole different level. Because you've got to imagine the scriptures, you know, you've got to, you've got to put your mind in the time. That's all I've got to say on that. Yeah, but them um, Catholics, man, they don't really know what they're dealing with when it comes to the demons. Man. Do they, even, do they even go into that? Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard um, them uh, praying one time in the Vatican in, um, in the Latin, I think it was. I can't remember what it was. But they were, they were praying to Lucifer, man. Doesn't surprise me. They were, you know, they, they, they're not calling out the demons, man. They, they're calling them in. They cast, yeah, they're they, casting they're casting demons on in. people. That's what Christianity does. Yeah. Yeah. They don't take demons off you. They put, they yeah. put them on and the scripture says, what, if Satan, uh, how can Satan cast out <coughs> You tell me, anybody tell me when you've seen um, a mental ill person casting out another mental ill person, casting out demons out of him. Mm. No, they, what happens? They, they start to fight. You know, only a righteous spirit can cast out demons. That's not yeah. the opposite. Yeah, I've got to preach that now. Um, let me find it. Yeah, so on, on what you're saying, because I, certain people in my family was um went to went to um what they call these people which really really they're witch the witchcraft people them yeah I'm gonna, I'll read I'll read this um, third, second Thessalonians and two and ten says and with all deceitfulness and and of uh, and of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send among them strong, uh, delusions. strong delusions that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, um, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Yes. Someone in my family went to, it was my, my, old, it was my old man, and he went to, because um, my brother got into it, and he went, it's supposed to be a spiritual church, right? Um, some celestial business. But these were Nigerians, man, and Nigerians, poo, like. We're doing voodoo. So he went there, right? Because he had he had something um, something was wrong with his back or something, and he went there. My my brother took him. He said, "Yeah, if you take." When he went, when they went there, they gave him some um, like um, a bottle with oil in it, anointing oil. So they said, "What well, you got to do? Is rub this on you, because they do. They, all they do is do miracles and speaking language and all that. Rub it on you, and you be healed." So he rubbed it on him, right? He rubbed it on him. When he came home, he said he felt he felt good because that he actually can. It's um like it says there, strong delusions. He feel good, but what happened? A couple of days later, he went um up with his beer back with the oil on him. He, he walked past a candle, <laughs> right? The candle <laughs> fell, burn up the man back. I I, I know because I had to take him to the hospital. You understand? I know that. I know that because he was he, and plus I was there. I was trying to get him off that rubbish. My, my brother, two of us, are, he, he even says me and him are opposites. You know, he come from the left hand side and I was coming with the right. But he wasn't listening to me with the herbs. Even then, I wasn't in the truth while I was dealing with herbs. Yeah. You know, solutions and like carrot juice and all that. And he took my brother convinced him because my brother's Satan's got a, he's, he's, he's a good talker, yeah. you know. Yeah. So he, he got him there and we ended up burning up his back. I think it was third degree burns or second degree burns. He had to put all Vaseline on him, keep rubbing him, and I had to keep looking out for him. But the point is, those people, those they are powerful yeah. and they can send you strong delusions for temporarily, can heal you temporarily. You haven't seen them over in America temporarily, they can do the evangelizers, sim similar people, similar, the same demons, you know. Yeah. And they can make you feel good for a period of time just to 
put in front of the church, I'm healed. Get up out of the wheelchair. Mm. And some of it's real. They do. They get up out of the wheelchair, but then more demons are going. When they go home, more demons are on them. It's a deli it's a deli I'll read it again and then I'll yeah. pass it back to the, to the Akim. Um, for this cause, um, God shall send them strong, deli strong delusions that they should believe a lie. So they, the Most High, because they're wicked, the Most High turns them over to those um, witchcraft people, them, you know, um, miracle healers and things. Because they're wicked at heart. Yeah, back to whoever. I was just going to say, um, this is the thing, like I had um, years and years and years ago, there was a girl I knew and she was telling me she was into Reiki, but she was, she was off in the spirit, man. And she was saying, oh, I can heal you, and I, I, don't, I don't need no healing, man. And she like, wanted to put hands on me and stuff. I was like, no, I don't want none of that shit because it just didn't feel right. Mm. Now, when these people do their healing, they don't give any credit to the Most High. They're not mm. saying, mm -hmm. like, you know, giving all praise some on and up and glory unto you, how about showing me how shy to heal you? Mm. If they were, then maybe I'd be like, okay, well, I, I trust this because Calm. the scriptures say that um, the Lord wounds and he heals, yeah. and, and neither is there any beside him. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, I gotta speak, man. Oh, we're just trying to get some scriptures. It's like it. It's like it, yeah. It's like, I'm just quickly find that piece of Come on. Did you have some? Yeah. I'll just yeah, say he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. The precept I was speaking about is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now uh, that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So like you were saying about uh, your father who went to the witch doctor <coughs> and got that mm. that remedy, that, yeah. was, that was not of Yeah, yeah, Lord's through, Lord, through you know? Jesus' name, which we yeah, know, you know. Because what says, um, what else does it say? It says, um, I, 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 I said this one in a long time. Form the light and I, I form the light and create darkness. Oh, I yeah. Make peace and create Samuel, evil. yeah. So the Lord's just controlling the, the, the left hand side and the right hand side, and it shows you that in Job. Mm. It shows you that in Job, you might as well get it. Yes. Does someone do you want to get that? I've got it. Which, which chapter? Which chapter? Uh, Job, uh, just when it talks about uh, Satan and the, and the, um, the sons. Job, okay, Job, Job 1. 1. Job 1 is in 2 as well. The sons of God. The sons yeah. of God. So this is Job 1 and 6, it says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan, of course, came also among them. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered and said, answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and walking up and down in it. And Yahweh said unto Satan, As thou considered my servant Job, and there is none like him in the earth, Perfect and upright man, one that feareth the most high and escheweth evil. Right, 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 right. So, you know, the scripture talks about Satan going to and fro in the earth and devouring uh, the lion. Yeah. But he's under the control of the most high. It's, 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 it blatantly shows you that. And what did you just read before that? You said that there's none beside the Lord, man. So, therefore, these Christians, when they, they go on a. Now, I've seen pictures depicting um, Satan or a depiction of the devil, always in red, <coughs> by the way. Let's just make a point yeah. of that. Uh, you know, arm wrestling with white Jesus, man. I've never seen like, that like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Even if that was Yahweh Shah, like they're on some level, <laughs> yeah, like, like, like Satan's on the level of Yahweh Shah, he's just a servant of the most high man, to do to do wickedness, man. yeah, yeah. That's just a bunch of baloney, man, yeah. All, he's there for the for the left hand side, man, mm. for that balance, man. How can we be right? How can we understand righteousness if we don't know what wickedness is, man? And that's precisely why Esau's on this earth, man. And just to make a point. It's funny how they always depict, you know, the devil being red, man. Yeah. As and a, that's as spiritual. Man, yeah. Because it's them that, are, it's a lot of times it's either much to do in these pictures or, or depicting it, you know, in their movies and that, you yeah. know, red demons, because they really know that they're the devil. Mm. That's true. <laughs> they know the truth. They know that they're the, the devil, man, because what he saw is red. Edom is, Edom is red. Mm. It's, yeah. it's not the one. Devils of this planet, man. The, the rough charts, they're the top, top, top of the food chain. Man. So it's all spiritual, man. I remember when I watched a video of a guy breaking down their, their name, and he didn't know, it wasn't even, it wasn't a Jacob, he didn't even know how deep it really was when he was talking about, he actually depicted them like um, these kind of lanky kind of 
men with uh, red shields for faces mm. in, in black, or, you know, like men in black suits. And so he's breaking down the name how, you know, roughly it's red. Because they say, uh, depending on what part of the world you are, they might say um, rough, rough shield instead of rough, basically the name, like red shield. Yeah, yeah. 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 What they're saying is they're red shield. Red shield, red shield. Man. Oh, yeah. So it's almost like they, they are the, you know, the, what's the shield, man? It's a protector. Yeah. You know, they, they're protecting the nation of Edom, man. They're doing what they need to do in order to, to build their, their wicked nation, you know, the new world order and stuff. This is um, 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear lest by any means as the servant beguiled, beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in the anointed Mashiach. For he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom ye have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Yeah, man, that's what you, you've got, like, we always go into, man, the whole um, Renaissance thing, the whole painting of the, you know, the repainting of the saints, man. They're, they're now preaching, and that, you know, there's a new, there's a new um, saviour in the earth, man, which is a false one, yeah? And he's, and he's you know, depicted as, as um, a, a white Jesus, man. And not only are the devils doing that, but our own people, especially them, um, is it the Ephraim, right? Yeah. Ephraim, they're into that, yeah, they're, they're, they're into that, they're, they're into that. They're into, leap that. into, that, into yeah. that white Jesus. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's, 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 that's that, um... It's, it's Catholicism, yeah, they yeah, call yeah, it, yeah. What, um, they worship Santa Maria, yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. rubbish. And yeah. giving, you know, Hail Marys and all this, you yeah, know, yeah. this madness, man. That's, that's, that, yeah, yeah, read that again. This is um, 2 Corinthians 11 and 3, but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity. And that serpent just, you know, just to avoid any folly, that serpent is a man, it's not a snake, it's not a snake in a tree talking. And that's another <laughs> thing, that's, that's, another, that's another part of that deception, that coming in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the wrong spirit, and they're teaching you that and there's a lot of people that that's, you know, that's another um, deception that stops people from receiving the truth. Yeah. Because they're looking at that thinking, wow, the, you know, there was a talking snake in the, in the Garden of Eden that convinced them to eat an apple. And there's none of that in the scriptures. It's it's weeks. Weeks. That's what I'm to say. Okay. Yeah, like, I'll, just, I'll just put something in there. What you were saying about the Northern Kingdom being into Catholicism, the funny thing is, is that you can tell that they're the people of the Lord because they've got a zeal for the Lord, but not according to knowledge. knowledge. They're just as, like, for example, me, I'm more than likely a Benjamite, I don't know for sure, but I might be a yeah. Benjamite, but a lot of my family are into like, you know, going to church and stuff like that. Um, but it's the same with the Northern Kingdom, they're into that Catholicism. They're into it more than a lot of what Edomites are into it. And when you look at it, they're, they're worshipping this so-called white Jesus who doesn't look like them, but they're, they're, they're believing it and they're putting all their, their faith in it. And I just want to mention one other thing. I saw, was it IUIC having a Passover, was it, recently, and they were giving praise to um, Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, yeah, I yeah, you saw that. yeah, I saw, I saw it, I saw the problem. That's how far they've gone, man. This yeah. is the thing. It's, it's one thing to be calling on the name of Jesus if you've never heard this truth. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know, if you don't know someone, how are you going to call their name if you've never met them? So, like, they actually said Jesus Christ, not yeah. just, because usually they're just saying Christ, right? No, they're actually said, saying Jesus Christ. They said Lord Jesus. I think. Wow. Uh, giving thanks to Lord Jesus, and I was like, man, this is the thing, it's not like they don't know the name. If you know the name and then you're calling on another another it's Jesus, you're, you're that's, clearly... That's, that's, that's just going off, you're willingly... That's, being that's called willfully willingly evil. sinning. That's yeah. actually yeah. willfully sinning. You know, you know the name, but you want to call upon... That, I don't even like saying that name, because there's a demon attached right, to it. Right. This is uh, uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 1, it says, Now the Spirit speaketh in this breast <laughs> that in the latter times some shall depart yeah. from the faith, the giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Seducing spirits, what's a seducing spirit? An alluring spirit, mm -hmm. something that tries to tempt you. So all these other philosophies, anything outside of the scriptures, that's a deceiving spirit. That's right. Okay, that's a deceitful spirit. Can you um, read that again? Yeah, it's, uh, it's 1 Timothy 4 and 1, it says, Now the spirit speaketh expressly, 
that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, mm. giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So this is why men they fall out. They start they start changing up the doctrine. It could have been that they once believed, but they start changing up things. Mm -hmm. They don't believe America's Babylon, flat Earth, you know, um, mermaids. These are all um, seducing spirits. The scriptures, the apostles never taught us that. Mm -hmm. So anything outside of the scriptures is fables, and that's the doctrines of devils. That's right. It's that's so not right. There's more. It says verse two. It says, speaking lies in hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So nothing can get in and nothing can get out. And what they were taught is stuck. They're stuck with that. You know, the lies and the deception. That's why it's so important to stick to these scriptures. If the apostles haven't taught it, then why are you teaching yeah. something else that is not in the scriptures? And that shows that IUIC, their conscience is seared, man. Because that mm. means that it's sealed. What they yeah. now believe is, that's it. Yeah. Because yeah, how can you go from uh, teaching the word of the Lord mm -hmm. in the correct manner with the name of, of the Heavenly Father. And I was gonna, I was gonna mention that. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to now you're going you're, you're mm -hmm. devolving, man. Mm -hmm. you're, di you're digressing. You're digressing and going off. You're talking about Jesus Christ now. Yeah. Go on, you want to say it's something? It's like a, a <coughs> interrupt, but this is Second Peter three and five. For this they are willingly ignorant mm. of that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Uh, whereby the world that was then being overflowed with water perished. But the, the point I want to make is, is that these people are willfully ignorant. This is, this is a different thing. Mm -hmm. It's like if a child is, does something mm -hmm. and they, they don't know, it's a child, you know, you, you have to teach the child. Once a child has reached a certain age of maturity and it's been taught, if it then chooses to do that which is wrong, the child has to pay for that, the consequence mm -hmm. yep. of what it's done. And that's what those guys in the IUIC are going to have to face because the judgment time is coming. And they're going to, when, when, when the chariots come, they're going to be calling on Lord Jesus then. He's not going to hear them, you know. The, the scripture says, <laughs> um, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, yep. um, shall enter into yeah. the King of Wada. That's Ma Matthew, it. isn't it? You know, he's going to turn around mm, and say, um, find it. what is he going to say? Um, Depart from me, I never knew thee. Yeah. And it goes yeah. to show that there's a lot of followers of men. Because man. they're not, you know, what would you say, um, uh, uh, working out your own salvation, fair and trembling, man. They're not doing that. Because they, they were taught something else. Now they're being taught something contradictory to what they taught, were taught before. So if you're, you know, if you're learning, you're trying to be scholarly, you're gonna, your mind should be telling you something's not right. Especially when you see <coughs> Nate talking, you know, bringing out excellent lessons, man, back in the day, mm. breaking down, you know, um, Deuteronomy and uh, Genesis and all that good stuff, and breaking down the name of the Lord. And now all of a sudden you can call the name of the Lord anything. You know, right. that just goes to show you he's done, man. Not only that, man, I say he was even mocking the name of the Lord. And mocking it, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I've got to preach that, yeah? Yeah. Um, Matthew 7 and 21 says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter unto the kingdom of the heavens, but he that doeth the will of my Father which yeah. is in the heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name? Have we not cast out devils? We were talking about that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. cast that. that. They've What's actually that? cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Yeah, examine it first, brothers. In yeah, thy name done many wonderful works. And many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy stop name. This, like stop there, because they're not prophesying in the Lord's name, man. And that's the point right there. That's a cut for them right there, man. They're not even prophesying in the Lord's name. So those are the, those are those men, because they really think they're righteous when they're doing their, their marches down the street, dressed in the purple raiment. And um, correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't that purple? Doesn't the purple raiment? That's like um, a sign of rulership. Yeah, yeah that's, that's ro royalty, royalty colours. Yeah, so yeah. They, they already think they're in the kingdom. Right. That's why they're having their little cookouts, and you know, I saw a video with their, their women dancing gyrating and stuff you got other other men around you know watching. yeah that's going off man your woman's supposed to be um meek man. yeah you know, modest, in the Mod modest in the yeah background, man. not up in the front uh gyrating herself and i saw <laughs> and i'm pretty sure she might even have been wearing uh men's apparel man. yeah she was she was wearing trousers oh man. So that's going boy off. Nickel, boy man, going off, man. yeah in thy name and in thy name have we not cast out devils mm. 
And they said they cast out devil. And in the name, uh, done many wonderful works. That's what they're going to say. We've done all the good things. But the Lord's going to say, I have not known you. Right. And then will I confess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that are workers of iniquity. Boy. Of iniquity. Yeah. Why were they workers of iniquity? Because they were teaching something that wasn't in the scriptures which our apostles didn't teach. This is a cut for the IUIC, you know, the camera's the like... The purple, brother. Yeah, the this is... Beautiful, you said that, because yeah, this piece boy. that's going to hit the nail on the head. Matthew 23 and 5. But all their works they do for are to be seen of men. Mm. And they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. Phylacteries. Break that, get that word. I don't know uh, what that means. is a, is a band on their heads. Right, and it's, right, it's right, got right. the encasing of the laws, so right, right. they would do this to boast that, look, look, we keep the yeah, laws yeah, more yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. the mm. other citizens yeah, yeah. of um, Israel. Yeah, 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 And they're always talking about the laws, man. Yeah. But they're not even, they don't know, we, try, we keep the laws to the best of our abilities, man, but we're not trying to be, the scriptures say, uh, um, uh, what about the righteousness? Uh, you're right, our righteousness is, is a field of right. So, you know, we can't, we can't never achieve uh, the righteousness that we would like to, that we, we hope to achieve here, man. Mm. But they're mm. pretending like they're doing that, you know? Mm. You know, right. talking about the laws of laws, but yet they're doing lineups, mm. not teaching the law, women going off dressing in, in, the, in the wrong clothes, talking too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 it's, it's basically insulting the names of Yahweh by Shami al -Shai. But even in all of that, as you just said, that's an indication in itself as it's supposed to be to themselves, that they themselves can't even keep the law. That's right. But they're telling you to keep the law, keep the law, keep the law. Hypocrites. Mm. Can I just say something else as well? When I was first learning about this truth, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the spirit because before I stumbled on Great Millstone, I, I saw IUIC. But I didn't even, mm. I don't think I even watched one whole video because I, oh, I already knew the scriptures because I'd already read the Bible. Play, just play on one video and I saw Nate and them sitting there with a microphone, oh, yeah. like all casually and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. And they were like talking for a good like 10 Can't. minutes about no scriptures coming out. I'm not going to sit here and wait for you guys to get into this. I, I clicked off the video, then I found Great Millstone, thankfully, you know. But the point is, is that this precept cuts them again, as where it says, um, and they love the uppermost rooms at feasts yeah. and the chief seats in the synagogues, you know, and greetings in the markets to be called of men, rabbi, rabbi. And this is the thing, you know, Nate wants to be. What do they call it? Um, king, the king in king in the house right now. He doesn't want to wait for the kingdom to come. He wants to be lord now. now. Yeah, they, they, I remember they done the video of him. Wasn't that, that video? Where he's like crying. Oh yeah, or yeah, Moses. Like that. he was, yeah, that's what they call themselves. Supposed to be Moses. You know, he's, 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 he's men under him. They call them generals and whatnot, man. They're trying to build themselves up to be something that they're, that they're not. They're like oh. chief, chief and general. yeah, chiefs and generals and captains. Mm. You know, not saying that we don't have an order, man. Of course, there's an order, <laughs> but you know, they're they. This is boastful. Yes. This is a boastful. This is um Luke 16 and um, 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the most high knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the most high. That's right, man. So we're, 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 we're here to exalt. We're the Lord's servants, man. We're here to exalt the Lord. Not to be uh, looking at, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, Nate and looking at him like he's he's going to he's gonna save us, man. Because the, what the like, apostles and the elders always say, man, they can't save us, man. That's, man, that's what we have to do. We have, we're here, we have to save ourselves. And we're here to, you know, to call out the elect. Luke 16 and 15, and he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the most high knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight. And a good example of that is what they're teaching um, all sorts of madness now. They're talking about fa taking vaccines. Yes. And uh, the microchip is not the mark of the beast. You know, they're going off, man. 